Oh deal, oh deal. It is the way you make me feel. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into this pink premiere gala collection, Odile Goddess. Here we go. <laughs> So once again, it is the it girl of the moment, an Odile faced doll yet again. This time it is the Gala Collection Pink Premiere doll. Yeah, that's like way too many words for a doll, but I guess it's a Gala Collection. It's gonna be like a doll line. She in particular is the Pink Premiere. So I wonder, are we gonna get like a blue Premiere, green Premiere, you know, gold Premiere maybe? Or are they really going to be like separate themings, like a premiere and a cocktail party? And um, I don't know what else there is uh, in fancy party stuff, but uh, okay. She is, I think, the first in a series. And um, yeah, we cannot get enough of her, of course, because she is beautiful. She is like Barbie core at its finest. Um, people are really loving this face on Barbie. I, myself included, I was all over her and I thought that she was going to be like selling out in like 10 minutes because when she was announced, I really thought that people were going like full force for her and she would be like selling out in like 10 minutes, but she's still available on Mattel Creations actually. So I think there's pretty much like an infinite amount of her available. So don't you worry if you didn't get her and you're like afraid that you're gonna have to pay like triple the price for her because there's plenty of her to go around. That said, she is a members only doll. So you have to be a member on Mattel Creations to get her. Yeah, which is costing you $10. The doll is 50, so that makes her 60. Yeah, anyway. The queen herself. I, I mean, it is just, it is Barbie core. We love Barbie core. That is why we love Barbie. That was the reason why the Barbie movie did so well. And I'm actually really glad that Mattel is really starting to see this because we're getting more and more dolls with like Barbie core aesthetic. Even in the play line, you can see it. So um, yay, thank you guys for finally getting it. And also a big thank you to Angel Kent. He's one of the designers at Mattel Creations and um, he does a phenomenal job and he really gets it. <laughs> but I mean, like he gets what we love and he knows what people want. And he might not always have the resources to do it fully like he would want it to, but he is giving. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay, onto the doll. So here she is. She is gorgeous in this box. It's too dark to display her in her box in my room, but that's okay. I mean, I could take her out, um, but I always like to keep one in box. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just that kind of like crazy in box collector also. Well, both ways. Because for me, a doll in her box, I mean, for me, the magic stays with her when she's in the box. 
But of course, I also want to take the doll out and do fun stuff with her. So, um, yeah. But luckily, I didn't just get one. No. For now, she'll be in her box, but I think I'm going to get her out, actually, because um, I'm going to do a fun restyle with her, of course, as you saw in the thumbnail. But I actually have a couple of more ideas, so there will be more restyles coming with her because I'm just really not done with her yet. <laughs> But here she is out of the box. Wow. I mean, okay, it is hard to critique this doll. If you have any critiques on this doll, um, comment down below because I know sometimes it's just really annoying if someone is like so uber positive about a doll that you're like, okay, come on. You have to see this or this or that. Um, I'm trying here, but I just really love her and <laughs> I might be a little bit biased just because she's so fun Barbie core and all that. So, um, yeah. Keep it cute and be kind, you guys. Okay, what can we see? It is a gorgeous mermaid gown. She is on a Music Muse body, which is kind of like Mata Muse, but a little more thick. Yeah, a little bit more curvaceous. <laughs> and uh, I love, love this body because... It makes the clothes look so good on dolls. Yeah. Um, but she actually comes with like all of the accessories you could choose from. She has a ring. She has a bracelet. She has a necklace. She has earrings. She has the dress. And she comes with kind of like the stole. So that's basically like every piece of a doll accessory you want. Yeah. And uh, it is, of course, super pink, super Barbie core, pink shoes, adorable. And of course, that super lengthy, long and saran hair. Oh, oh so loving this. Yeah. And um, and the Odile face, of course, which is painted so gorgeously. Yes, I am taking you back once again with that mermaid vote and the doll we were robbed of. And I think many of you will agree with me, but... We got her in some way now, right? So what I also really like is that her jewelry was actually like in a metallic color and not like this unfinished matte color. So that is a super plus. Uh, she has a manicure and a pedicure. I mean, they ate and left no crumbs, in my opinion. Some people have issues with her face and they say that her eyes are either too big or too close together or too far apart. I'm not sure what people think now, but I just, I love her very like kind of mixture of teen skipper and a really magical girl face. So actually when I took her out, what I find was um, that she was actually sewn together in the back. Um, she has a Velcro in the back, but uh, it was sewn together. So I was a little bit anxious to uh, cut that, actually. But um, it doesn't matter. Do not worry. You can take it off, you know, without any anxiety because the Velcro fits really nicely and it's okay. Yes, we would have loved snaps in the back, of course, but unfortunately, it is not 2007 anymore. <laughs> Um, also, she was wrapped in this, like, plastic dress underneath, I think to prevent the staining or, like, um, preventing that she got, like, pink staining on her body from the dress. Yeah. And her sleeves are actually this kind of, like, stretchy fabric and actually a different kind of fabric from what the dress is made of. Yeah. And... I do like that the sleeves are actually in that more fitted, stretchy fabric and did not cover the hands completely. So I love a good like glove on a doll, but um, usually it feels kind of like if, as if they're wearing mittens <laughs> instead of like a real nice fitted glove. And I know it's just impossible to make on that scale like a really nice fitted perfect glove for a doll. But um, so I'm really happy that um, they decided to leave her hands free, give her a ring instead in the shape of a heart. I mean, and she also comes with a stand, which is translucent with a touch of glitter in it. I mean, 90s, 
aesthetic galore. I love it. So, um, yeah. So the first thing that I really wanted to do was give her that 90s mermaid look because, you know, like I said, we were robbed of that perfectly beautiful pastel aesthetic mermaid. Um, so I just had to get her and put her in that 90s mermaid vibe. So um, let's go do that. Let's just waste not any more time. I will take you guys to the salon and actually also at the salon, uh, check out some body matches for her. Uh, so I will not be rebodying her, but I am gonna check out what made to move bodies will match her. In a future video, I think I am also gonna make a version with a made to move body. And I really wanna do like a super Y2K aesthetic on her as well. And there's this fashion pack that's called like Diva Drive. I think that's a whole fashion series from the Y2K era. And oh my gosh, I am having like a vision of her in that Y2K Diva Drive fashion pack. So I am going to hunt down the internet <laughs> to find that outfit and um, maybe even put her on a like Y2K belly button body. Oh my God, so many ideas. Um, so this is definitely not the only restyle I'll be doing on her. Because I have another one in the box back there. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll even get a third one to restyle. Yeah, because I love her that much. So, um, okay, let's head down to the salon and um, give her a super cute 90s mermaid makeover. Here we go. So let's take a further closer look at our girl. First, I wanted to show you her screening again and those lovely earrings that she comes with. Um, her blonde hair is actually uh, layered in different tones of blonde, as you can see. And here it showed really well because the lighting was perfect. And um, it doesn't show really that much when you have her just normally displayed. Here we have that situation where the back is sewn together. Um, so I was a little bit anxious actually to get that uh, to cut that, but um, I just think it's for um, the box purpose only. And as you can see, this is the protection underneath the dress and her lovely, lovely shoes. These are her jewelry pieces. I don't think I've ever seen these before, so I don't think these are recycled pieces. So I actually think they're new. And the earrings also, this was a major plus as well. It's just a normal straight peg. So not with like a strange hook attached to it. So can you re really can take it out easily and put it back in easily. This is the stole with that Barbie logo pattern inside. I realized I didn't show you guys in the review part. So I had to show it to you here. And here we have her out and about in the buff with all of her printings and codes on her. I think she has a gorgeous Music Muse body. So in terms of body matching, let's take a look at a Model Muse match. So this is the original type Model Muse body. And this is actually from the 65th anniversary Malibu doll. And as you can see, this is a perfect match in skin tone. So if you wanna do that, use her. For the curvy made to move match, uh, Barbie looks number 16 with the Andra face. She is from the third wave from the color block series. And you can use her because it's a perfect skin tone match. Next up is original type made to move. You can use the newer um, Malibu uh, as a match. I tried to compare her to a pink top made to move from the first wave. You can definitely see difference here. Uh, pink top definitely has a more warmer tone in her skin. Um, so if you really want to go for the perfect match, um, take the newer original type made to move, Barbie or Malibu, as she's called, of course. I think also the fashionistas in the wheelchair doll will also be a good match for her because they have a similar skin tone. So that was it for the skin tone matches. Now let's head on over to the actual salon part.
Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I am, it is exactly how I envisioned her, how she will look in this look. So I am so happy with how she turned out. And um, you guys, wow, yeah. I mean, her hair is so nice, so soft, so shiny. And it is actually the first time that I have been using Shine Serum. So I got the tip from a friend on Instagram. Uh, you know who you are, girl. Thank you so much. Um, I still don't know if I use kind of like the exact right one because now I've used Shine Plex from Charles Worthington, London. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it kind of like has this glitter in it. It just looks and smells really nice. Um, and I didn't want a shine serum that was like super oily because I hate it when the hair gets like really oily and uh, greasy for, you know, with that oiliness. So this one is not like super oily and um, that's really nice. And it really makes the hair super soft. Uh, yeah, I, I think you cannot even see it on camera. Um, it looks like a good old boy wash like any other, but I mean, this hair is so nice and so soft afterwards. It is, yeah. I was actually also surprised how well it fitted on her. The bust I had to attach on the back with a rubber band because it was a bit too big because the 90s bust is doesn't have kind of like that hourglass that this body has. So you really have to like fasten it in the back. But I mean, wow, it looks so good on her. The tool actually that she has around her waist is uh, some kind of wedding veil I found. <laughs> At first I thought I wanted to add like this kind of like sheer see-through glittery skirt. Some mermaids have that. Um, but I could not find a certain, you know, that's kind of fashion piece to put on her. So then I was going through some other... A tool and uh, see-through uh, sheery things that I have in a drawer. So I found these veils because I also really love wedding dolls. I have quite a few. So luckily I found this one and put this one on her. I think this is actually from the Rapunzel doll with the really long hair and the um, shining crown on her head. But anyway, I am just so happy with how she turned out. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you in terms of body matching. Um, I don't know, having the courage to maybe even take her out of the box and do something fun with her. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy. <laughs> I know it is, I mean, yeah, I really needed this, you guys. It is 2024 and 2024 has not been the best year for me, as you guys all know. So, um, yeah, I, I really had like a very uplifting moment with this one. <laughs> But you'll definitely not see the last of her on my channel. So, of course, let me know down in the comments below what you think of her. What do you think of the restyle? Are you going to get her? Are you obsessed? Not obsessed? Do you know all the tea about the Gala Collection Pink Premiere? Oh, deal goddess. Yes, and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah! <laughs> Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, big kisses from me. And I love you all.